What are the typical emotions experienced by individuals when presented with a bonus exceeding 10 million yuan? Personally, I'd likely be overwhelmed with excitement, unable to sleep as I ponder how to utilize such a sum. Yet, Zhuang Sha Ying, a remarkable computational and rock mechanics researcher, displayed remarkable composure in the face of such a substantial bonus. Not only did she decline a lucrative job offer accompanying the bonus, but she also made the bold decision to return to her homeland to pursue scientific research. How did she achieve this feat at such a young age? And what trajectory did her career take upon her return to China? Keep watching as we delve deeper into Zhuang Sha Ying's remarkable journey. Zhuang Sha Ying's upbringing is rooted in rural simplicity, with her mother, a factory worker with only primary school education, and her father, a farmer who also works as a construction laborer during the off-season. Despite their modest background, Zhuang's parents harbored no lofty expectations for their daughter. However, impressed by her academic diligence, they envisioned a future for her as a doctor, considering it the most promising career path in rural communities. During one summer break, Zhuang accompanied her father to a construction site, where she found herself captivated by the sight of cranes and reinforced concrete, sparking a desire to become an architect. Despite her family's hopes for her to pursue medicine, Zhuang's exceptional grades in the college entrance examination far exceeded the requirements for medical school. A conflict arose when filling out university applications, as her father advocated for a medical major, citing it as a noble calling to save lives. However, Zhuang remained steadfast in her aspiration to study civil engineering at Tongji University. In September 2001, Zhuang defied expectations and successfully enrolled in Tongji University's civil engineering program. Despite being a minority in her major, she consistently ranked at the top of her class, earning the respect of her peers despite initial teasing from a few male classmates. Through her determination and academic excellence, Zhuang proved her commitment to her chosen field and set a precedent for success. During her postgraduate studies, Zhuang Sha Ying focused on tunnel and underground construction engineering. Her exceptional research capabilities earned her the prestigious American Lord Scholarship from Tongji University. In September 2007, she successfully completed her postgraduate studies, obtaining a master's degree from Tongji University. Simultaneously, she was selected for the Overseas Research Student Award Scheme, paving the way for her pursuit of a doctoral degree at Durham University in the UK. From 2007 to 2010, Zhuang's remarkable scientific contributions were consistently recognized, leading to her receiving the Dorothy Hodgkin Postgraduate Awards from the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council for three consecutive years. This sustained support provided Zhuang with economic stability, enabling her to invest more confidently in her scientific research endeavors. The scientific research environment in Europe offers a relaxed atmosphere, with leading universities frequently engaging in the exchange and dissemination of academic achievements. Recognized as a rare academic talent from the East, Zhuang received invitations from various colleges and universities across Europe to continue her research endeavors. Particularly drawn to the academic ambience of Durham University, renowned as the epicenter of European academia, Zhuang appreciated the institution's cutting-edge equipment and substantial investments, which facilitated her work. Despite the conventional time frame of doctoral studies spanning four to seven years, Zhuang remarkably completed her doctorate in just three years. Upon graduation, Zhuang deliberated extensively before embarking on postdoctoral research in Norway. While some speculated about her intentions to settle in Europe, Zhuang's true motivation lay in acquiring knowledge to benefit her homeland. By 2015, Zhuang had acclimated to Norway's climate enjoying experiences like witnessing the aurora in winter and encountering the world's largest Christmas tree. Her research ventures led her through snowy forests in pursuit of experimental samples. At the year's end, Zhuang received thrilling news. The German Humboldt Foundation would bestow upon her the prestigious Sofia Kovalevskaya Award, making her the seventh Chinese recipient worldwide, valued at 1.65 million euros or 12.46 million yuan. This honor prompted Zhuang to carefully consider her next steps. With composure, she resolved to collaborate with esteemed international scholars in computational mechanics at Hanover University's Institute of Continuum Mechanics, 
focusing on developing novel nanocomposite materials for civil engineering applications. Keep watching as we follow Zhuang's journey of scientific innovation and impact. German researchers are renowned for their rigorous academic standards, a quality that Zhuang Xiaoying found appealing upon her arrival. Quickly adapting to the work environment, she achieved remarkable success in scientific research related to building methods and materials. Upon completing her research at the University of Hanover, Zhuang received invitations from top European laboratories, while her German partners warmly retained her collaboration. German universities offered her promising positions and ample research funding, particularly in the field of material science. Despite the enticing opportunities in Germany, Zhuang, who had spent eight years studying abroad, harbored different aspirations. Throughout her time overseas, her mentors at Tanji University remained invested in her growth, while Zhuang herself remained dedicated to the advancement of domestic scientific research. I will definitely come back, she reassured each time she departed China. True to her word, upon concluding her research in Germany, Zhuang promptly reached out to Tanji University, signaling her readiness to return. The university, too, eagerly welcomed her back, recognizing her as a genius whose talents belonged in China. Today, Zhuang Xiaoying holds a professorship in the Department of Underground Architecture and Engineering at Tanji University's School of Civil Engineering. Her journey serves as a testament to breaking gender stereotypes in the field, mirroring her own challenges when initially pursuing civil engineering. Yet, Zhuang's achievements have since become an exemplar of success, inspiring others and reshaping perceptions within the industry. Keep watching as Zhuang continues to leave her mark on the world of academia and beyond. This young female professor possesses not only beauty and knowledge, but also a commendable aptitude for scientific research. Who claims that girls cannot excel in civil engineering? At Tanji University, eager freshmen seek out Zhuang Xiaoying upon registering filling her classes to capacity. Even in advanced courses, first-year students eagerly follow her lead, inspired by her teaching prowess. Zhuang encourages them to forge their own paths, reminding them that true genius lies in perseverance and hard work. In addition to her exemplary teaching, Zhuang maintains a rigorous focus on scientific research. She actively recruits experts she encountered during her European studies to join Tanji University's teaching and research team. Reflecting on her journey, Zhuang recounts how her childhood fascination with urban skyscrapers fueled her determination to pursue civil engineering. Through her perseverance and dedication, Zhuang challenges gender biases and defies disciplinary stereotypes, paving the way for future generations of aspiring engineers. Her story is a testament to the power of determination and serves as a beacon of inspiration for all. Now that you've heard Zhuang Xiaoying's remarkable journey, what insights do you draw from her story? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Rebel Discovery for more inspiring tales of perseverance and achievement. Thanks for watching.